The room was hazy. My hands had serious rope burns that never stopped stinging. I'd been here for what I estimated as six days. I was getting anxious. I was captured by my ruthless drug supplier. He owned a huge cartel, but he ran it a safe distance away from people to prevent accidents. Rumors and horror stories swarmed around the smaller gangs, and me, being quite a small business compared, should have realized some rumors are true. He was known as Wire. No one knows his birth name, and I'm guessing that if they did, they wouldn't have been able to let another breath out, let alone the first syllable. He never did his own dirty work. He had a second, Blair. Any of Wire's work was also hers. Wire was vicious, brutal, merciless, and apparently I hadn't left his money at the drop point during a switch in exchange for the drugs that paid for my mediocre quality of life. But the fact is, I had dropped off the cash. I always do. I'm extremely organized. You have to be in the business. One slip up and you're strapped to a chair. And I think I'd know if I was missing $50,000. My partner Mike, as you know, is dead. Shot him in front of me, cold blood, just to intimidate me. Now that enraged me. But I think it was for the best considering Mike was the only one who knew and had access to the locker after the switch. When he said he was going for milk, I should have remembered he was lactose intolerant. He was the guns and I was the brain. I was too lazy to even consider bulking up for this job, so he worked nicely. Still, Mike was my only friend, so I guess that means work is my only friend. Sadly, it's true. My work deals with thugs, gangs, and monsters who put a bullet in your heart without even bothering to wipe the blood off their face. Or yours off the floor. It's no place to have baggage or someone who can pull your love strings. Nothing in your life can be a liability. Oh, and those monsters had me in their clawed fingers now. You're not what I expected. Why did you betray my trust, Adrian? Me? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Mike was the only person other than you that had access to that locker. You already killed the problem, I did nothing. Now, you will listen to me real well. How about you do me this one little favor? And I'll let you go with a warning. You will never have to hear from me again. But, I want you to do this one little favor. Oh, no. I don't need to do any of your dirty work. It was then that I realized saying no to this man was a bad idea.